All the, the Indian companies are very well aware about the state of the art of technology uh, in, in those domains. Um, they are all equipped now, and most of them are equipped with a 3D CAD system, which enable you know, to do the, the, the full uh, engineering process. The Indian company are very aggressive okay, on using all those new technologies. Maybe you know a bit uh, parallel like, uh, like the Chinese market. Plus, I think they have also been smart in hiring uh, you know, key experts okay, from those companies known as uh, premium, premium companies in the rest of the world. Then this is, I think, accelerating the understanding of where the, the, the Indian market should be. The revolution today on simulation has not happened for many reasons. Okay. First of all, today, simulation is still a, a domain that is reserved for experts. There are many different experts in different domains working and trying to come with the best answer in their domain. Okay. But this doesn't mean that if you have all those experts working in siloed organization, that ultimately they will come with the best products. Since the first drawing Okay, or what we call the, the, the first step of the ideation of a project, they will be uh, in a capacity to apply those simulations and come with the best design, but the robust design offering the best performance and best attributes to the product. That's the system came with the 3D experience platform now, where we offer an environment that is based on only one geometry, one model, that's what we call, you know, the the single model of truth, and we will be able to make this single model of truth evolve over time, and everybody, any discipline, any experts, any engineers, or marketing as well as designers, consider working only on this geometry. Where you know you can now, using 3D approach, uh, but also 1D simulation, and, uh, and simulation as a whole, you can optimize completely um, the workflows uh, on uh, how people will commute into, into, uh, into a city. And you know, if you build also a metro line, for example, or if you plan to build a metro line, where the metro line should be uh, in terms of you know, where are the people most commuting during the day. But you know as well after that, depending on where you will position this metro line after, this will have a complete influence on where the people after will come and, and leave. A lot of simulation that we can do now are related to noise. Okay? And today, for example, you know, we can simulate the noise that is being done by an aircraft landing. Exactly view what is the dB, the dB level, okay? the noise level footprint okay? that any inhabitant uh, on, on the ground will experience when you know, a specific aircraft landing. India has committed recently to invest a lot in infrastructure for train. Okay, you have a big project for moving the, you know, the, the speed of the train from 160 to 350, okay, like we are experiencing in, uh, in Europe or in China. And uh, believe me, but uh, or not, but you know, above 250 kph, okay, the, the, the most important noise source okay, is coming from the aerodynamics uh, noise. You need to predict, okay, what would be the, the radiating noise, okay, of those of those trains now going very fast into the, the Indian territory. That's all type of simulation now that we can do, okay, and really predict, okay, what you know the the, the inhabitants will uh, will experience. Artificial intelligence and machine learning, okay, are definitely coming into the into the scope. Of, of 3D simulation. And that, that's a challenge as well, because, you know, um, we consider, again, that we have not fully deployed, okay, the 3D simulation that we today know, the class, I would say the, the classical technology, is not completely deployed yet at the state where it should be. And also in terms of computing, you know, we have the, the quantum, the quantic uh, computers coming, that will also completely revolutionize, okay, the usage of, um, of simulation. And we, we have to make the trade-off as well, you know, within 3D, uh, 3D, 3S, uh, whether we want to spend and where we want to spend our efforts on providing technology that will accelerate the deployment of the 3D simulation as we know it today, 
uh, or also look at uh, investing uh, a lot okay, in resources on those coming uh, technologies. But I think the answer is that we have to do both.